How to Survive the Fall of Society The fall of law and order can be a very dangerous thing. Overpopulation, dwindling resources, growing inequalities and a descent into barbarism lie at the edge of any successful society and small things can tip the scales in favor of societal failure. The UN reports that in 2038 the population will reach a point where we can no longer sustain ourselves, citation needed, this article will show you how to survive when this happens. Part 1 Self-Sufficiency 1. Gather resources and food Gathering as much food or resources will benefit you and anyone else with you greatly. Make a hoard of non-perishable items, canned foods, before the fall of law and order. 2. Be more self-sufficient We are all reliant on the supermarkets for food these days, but as the population increases, demand will rise and farmers will struggle to meet it, causing costs to increase, supply and demand, just like anything else. For example, hyperinflation in Zimbabwe meant that even a loaf of bread rapidly grew too pricey for the average Joe to afford. Learn to grow your own food, even if it starts with growing vegetables in your back garden and having a greenhouse. You won't need to pay through the nose when you can just grow your own inexhaustible supply of food. Though you'll need to grow more than you'd think. 3. Raise rabbits and chickens Related to the above. Rabbits will be a near-inexhaustible meat supply. They reproduce rapidly and in large numbers, hence the term going at it like rabbits. They are cheap to keep, also. Chickens are a good one as well, though more for their eggs than for their meat. 4. Learn to hunt. When food in the supermarket becomes either scarce or too expensive, this will apply doubly to meat. If you can learn to hunt or trap game, you will have an advantage over everyone else who will be spending their life savings on chicken breasts at the store. 5. Avoid urban areas If you can, move out to the country. The more rural you are, the less people there will be, which means less competition for food. It also makes it more likely for you to have the space to start growing your own food, if you live in an apartment in the city or a semi-detached house in the suburbs, you're not going to have the space available to grow enough to live on. Move somewhere rural with a lot of land, and start farming. Part 2 Sourcing Energy 1. Take yourself off the grid Although our ancestors survived without power we have a difficult time doing that. Using solar panels and windmills you can have your own power source for things such as refrigeration and cooking. Electricity is a luxury really. Though if you must have it, set up solar panels, wind turbines, or even have a generator connected to an exercise bike, giving you power while also staying in shape. Part 3 Defending Yourself 1. Gather weapons for defense. People who did not take precautions will need food and shelter. Purchase small handguns and large long guns and hide them through your house. Know how to use the weapons and how to assert yourself without actually having to fire them. It is one thing to own a weapon, it is quite another to know how to use it, how to read people accurately and how to avoid conflict as much as possible, etc. 2. Pack all non-essential objects so that in the event you need to retreat you can do it as quickly as possible. Have bags ready so you can quickly pack essential equipment. Leave things that don't fit in a bag or backpack such as ovens and beds. Tips Get a group of people together and get organized, as there is strength in numbers. The people to aspire to for self-sufficiency are the Amish. They are rural, entirely self-sufficient and if society collapsed because of overpopulation, they would barely be affected by it. Warnings These are only suggestions use this only as a guide in the event that law and order do fail. Overpopulation in 2038 is not a sure thing it is based on projections of current global population.